Okay, and now we move on to Cornelia, who definitely has the most outfits of everyone in the show. Um, I mean, I've got a lot. Some of these are obviously duplicate pictures because I'm using to get like more than one view of the same outfit, but she does have more outfits than anyone else, including having two versions of her guardian outfit. So, um, yeah, that's that's gonna be that's gonna be an interesting one. It's gonna take a while. So let's get started. Um, we'll start, of course, with her default season one outfit, which I hate. I I love this girl so much, as you all know. Cornelia Hale is my girl, but dear God, I hate this outfit so much. Here it is over here. I just think, I think the colors are awful. I don't like the color, the turtleneck, the color of the skirt. It's not really the style, although I do think like the belly is a bit weird because it's like it's sort of like not enough belly for it to feel it just looks as if Zephyr's skirt's not like pulled up enough because like it's not like their, her shirt doesn't look like it's cropped it just looks as if the skirt hangs really low and maybe it does because like hipsters like not as in the people from tumblr that wear man buns like as in hipster jeans were the jeans that hung really low and I suppose that was kind of the style. So maybe that's the idea here. Maybe it's supposed to be a really low skirt. But I just don't like it. And I don't really know what's going on with the belt. I like the boots. Admittedly, I like her boots. And I, I... I mean, I love her long skirts. That's her style. Obviously, she primarily wears long skirts. And I like that. I've just never liked this outfit. I'm afraid. I know some people do. But for me, it's just not... I also don't like that the arms, like the sleeves stop like here because I've had t-shirts like that and it drives me demented that they're not like, I just want to pull them down. So I, it's just not for me. It's not for me. However, her secondary season one outfit is this one here. And this one I love. This I love. The blue top, the blue jacket. The cream trousers, the shoes. This outfit I love. This is honestly like one of my favourite things. I think it looks so good on her. Blue is my favourite colour on Cornelia. Honestly, I think she looks really good in blue, particularly pale blue. So I love this outfit on her. I think it looks so good. I think it, it, it brings out her eyes because she has blue eyes. Brings out her hair. She's got her little satchel bag on. I love this. I wish they'd kept her in this outfit for the majority of season one instead of that. But we, um, you know, God deals his greatest challenges to his strongest soldiers, etc, etc, etc. Her other kind of season one outfit is, uh, unfortunately, this one here, which I hate with all of my heart and soul. I think this is hideous. I don't know who, why. It's also really similar to Irma's, which is weird. But, like, the pale blue with the red trim, I hate and I just, I, I hate it. I just hate everything about it. Um, <laughs> I really do. The long grey skirt. I just, uh, I, no. I hate this outfit. Burn it in hell. Cornelia has some really bad outfits. For being like the fashion queen, I swear to God, some of her, her outfits are genuinely terrible. <laughs> we might as well just go and start working our way through because she does have so many. So up here we have her default winter outfit. She wears this a lot uh, in both season one and season two. And I actually did a cosplay of this. If you can believe it. If I have, if I still have a picture of it, I will put it in here somewhere. But I did a cosplay of this specific outfit because I had clothes in my cupboard that were basically this. And I was like, I can pull this off. So I did. I do like it. Um, I kind of prefer... There is a version with a different scarf. If you give me a second, I will find it. Mm. So in the finale, she's wearing this version that has a pale scarf and then pale leg warmers. And I actually I prefer this version. Um, and that was kind of closer, like, I kind of used this scarf in my cosplay, but the other things from the other one. I kind of prefer this version over the pink scarf. But I do like her winter outfit, I have to say. I, I do actually like it, and I think it suits her. It's quite simple, but it looks very comfy. And, yeah, no, I quite like it. I like the colours, like the leg warmers. 
She looks nice and cozy. I like this one. This here is her season one outfit, but she's wearing a jacket. Uh, this is from Vegas for Betrayal. Uh, I still hate this outfit, but at least with the skirt, it, uh, the, with the jacket, it jazzes it up a bit. This here is her season one top, but with a pair of trousers instead of the skirt. So it's like the exact same colour as the skirt, pretty much. Slightly different shade, but they're trousers. But I still hate it. I think I like it more than the skirt, honestly. But I still hate it because I still hate this top and I still hate the colour. And eventually she stopped wearing this outfit and like, thank God, because I just, I hate it so much and I got so sick of seeing it because I just don't like it. And annoyingly, because like I kept, you know, back in the day when I used to just draw pictures from the show all the time and she was always wearing this damn outfit and I was always having to draw this damn outfit and it just annoyed me so much because I hated it and I had to keep using this colour and I hated it. And I was like, girl, why? Just wear something else. <laughs> But she finally got rid of it. I think this was the last time she wore this outfit and sees for changes. I could be wrong, but I think that was the last time we saw her wear this. And I often wonder, there's like that whole thing in Ephesus for Facades where she mentions about how like pink is so last year. And I do really hope that that was like the animators or like a joke from like the team to be like, yeah, she's going to stop wearing this hideous pink outfit. She's moved on. Because we after that, I don't think we see her in this outfit again. We do see her in pink. But we don't see her in this outfit. And I'm kind of hoping that was her moving on with her life. When she... Also because she probably had trauma from this incident. And this outfit here I've always really liked. And it was only yesterday, as I'm filming this, literally yesterday, I'm working on another video. It will come. Um... And I, I need the comics for it. And I was going through arc two of the comics and I realised this outfit is actually from one of the comic issues. I think it was like the other truth. Maybe, maybe not. It's a bit where they're all like standing in the hallway outside Principal Knickerbocker's office and she's wearing this outfit. And I was like, oh, this is a comic outfit. Because some of them are. Some of the outfits in the show are outfits from the comics. This one is. This one right here. Um, and this, as it turns out, is one of her comic outfits. I like it. I like the bright pink um, tie over the blouse. I mean, here in the UK, we are expected to wear ties to school. It's awful and everyone hates it, but it's just the way it is. So this is like definitely giving me like British school vibes, although we probably wouldn't have a bright pink tie. But I really like it and I like her big, her bright pink skirt. Um, ironically, because I hate her season one bright pink skirt, but I like it. The only part I don't like is the shoes because they kind of look like grandma shoes. Do you not think? They kind of look orthopedic. But other than that, I really like this outfit and I don't entirely know why because I feel like deep down in my soul that I shouldn't. But I do. And I think anyone choosing to wear a tie when they don't have to is, is very early 2000s Avril Lavigne chic. Um, like in Britain, girls would like never choose to wear a tie because that's what you have to wear for school. So you might as well show up wearing your prefet badge. But like... I suppose when you grow up in a society where that's not expected of you, it's probably more fun and like ties are like a fun accessory instead of like a constant reminder of the worst years of your life. So I think it's very funky and very early 2000s Avril Lavigne. This here I love. Do I have a better version of this? Not entirely. Oh wait, no, well, kind of. Because it's over here. Well, there's a very small picture of it over here when it's ripped. But yeah, this is an outfit from the comic. Um... Either this one or this one, because that's, because that right there is the same top, but with a different skirt. And I can't remember if it's this one or this one that she's wearing. It's the, the comic book um cover art where she's with Tarani and she's like got her arm over Tarani and they're holding hands like this. Uh, she's wearing that outfit. I really like this one. It's very cute. I love the, the belt with the big hoop on it. I like the colours. I actually like the top. I think the top's really nice. I like the banding, like, round the, the arm. I, I, yeah, I think this is really nice. I think it's really cute on her. I think the colours suit her really well. This is a much nicer shade of pink than this ugly ass thing over here. So I, I actually really like this outfit. Um, And I also like this variation of it as well. 
But I think I actually prefer it with the purple. I just think it's a nicer shade and I prefer the belt. It's it's really cute. This is her like P out P this is her P E outfit from D is for Dangerous. So we only get to see her on it for like a few seconds. But I think it's cute. Like I like the shorts. I like the little design the little kind of ties here. Like it's 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 these. These kind of things. Um and the purple headband. Well, this is, I think, the only time we get to see Cornelia in a headband. I don't think she ever wears one again. Which is a real shame. Because it's really cute on her. And I wish we got to see her in more hairbands. Because it really, it, it looks really cute. And I like the colours. She doesn't wear a huge amount of purple. She wears some. Like, that's purple, obviously. She doesn't wear a huge amount of purple, though. And I think it actually looks quite nice on her. It's a colour that suits her quite well. This is her um her bedtime outfit and we can see it here and we can see it with a slightly it's the, it, it is the same color it's just the lighting that it's it's meant to be a kind of uh pale blue but in this it looks almost white but it is actually blue and pink um but I like it it's just a nice little night dress it's very cute very sweet um oh you know what I don't think I included her night dress from E is for enemy Oh, I missed that one. I've just realised that I didn't take a screenshot of that. I will get you a screenshot of that and I will edit it in. She's wearing it for such a short time that my brain probably just skipped right over it. But it's only just when I've looked at that that I'm like, she actually, she has the night dress, the chiffon night dress. This night dress is chiffon. Dry clean only. So I'll need to find that. But yeah, I think this is cute. I think it's nice. And I think it suits her. It's very much her style. I can imagine that that is how she would go to bed. This outfit I love. This outfit I love. Um, the black and the white. This is what it looks like in pink. So you can see, like, imagine the, the sock and the... Imagine the skates and the socks like that, but in black and white. I loved this. I loved the monochrome look. I loved the hat with the little flower. I thought she looked so cute. I loved this skirt. She doesn't really wear a lot of short skirts. I think that's why it kind of stood out to me. Because generally speaking, she always wears long skirts or trousers. We very rarely ever see her in a short skirt. So I think that's why this outfit was like so standout. Because it's one of the only times we ever see her. It's one of the only times we ever see her legs, is what I'm trying to say. But I don't, I don't mean that in a creepy way. I just mean it's the only time we ever see her you know getting to wear like high socks and stuff like that because we never actually see her wearing anything short i love the knee high socks i think they look great i love the skirt i love the whole thing i don't love it so much in pink although the pink is hilarious obviously it, that was a magical thing that changed the whole outfit to pink but i definitely prefer it in the black and white but the pink is hilarious but i do also wonder if this is why she stopped wearing this outfit because she probably looks in the mirror and remembers like oh remember that terrible day where I went on a date with two boys at once and then one of them died and uh, yeah it was that was a grim day for her probably doesn't want to remember it this is the very beginning of H is for Hunted and I think this is the outfit from the comics now that I'm looking at it it's got this ring bell on it and again I really like it I like this I like the long skirt I love the top obviously and I like the belt I also liked belts like this where it was like a rope with like metal kind of hoops on it I really like those kind of belts. So this is also very me. I like this outfit a lot. This is her dress that she wore to the party. I don't think... Have I got a long version of it? I don't think so. It's just a floor length black dress. So you don't really need to see all of it. But what I loved about it... One is the fact that it's like an LBD. Because I just think she looks very elegant. Very classy. Like there's nothing more classy than just a black dress. You know? Very, very formal. Very classic look. But I love the heart necklace and I love when she's dancing and it's like swinging back and forwards. I, I really love the necklace. I think it's very pretty. Um, I, I love this outfit. I, I love it. I do. I was surprised that her, um, her swimsuit was purple because I always kind of assumed that it would be like blue. But it's purple. So there you go. Uh... Because purple isn't, like I say, isn't a colour she wears all that much. But for some reason it is the colour of her swimsuit. But I think it's cute. Um, I think it makes sense that Cornelia would wear a bikini. She feels like the kind of person that would wear 
a bikini. She feels like the kind of person that would want to wear something very, um, very pretty to the beach. So I like this. Although I, I think she would look better. I, I would prefer if it was like blue or green, because those are kind of more her colors. But the purple looks cute on her, and I'm just glad it's not pink. Over here we have what she wears at the beginning of G is for garbage, but we don't have a great shot of it, so I've kind of had to just take these two pictures. Um, so. I actually, I love the top. I think the top is really nice. It's a lot like this one, but it's slightly different because it's the same kind of style where it's got like the fringe around here and then the banding on the arms and around the kind of waist, but it's a slightly different style that you can see that it's like a lot longer here than it is on this one. It's different colours um, and it's got these long, di different sleeves. It's like the sleeves don't come down to the wrists like here. They kind of band on the elbow and then kind of flare out. And then this floor length black skirt um, or ankle length black skirt and then these gladiator sandals and what did I say I love gladiator sandals so I really like this outfit it's a shame that we didn't get a better shot of it um it's weird that they did that because like there are episodes where they draw them a whole new outfit and then the girls are only seen in the outfit for like 30 seconds when you feel like that would be the time to just put them in their default outfits but no they went to the effort of drawing them outfits even if we didn't get to see them for very long up here we have her outfit from N is for Narcissus, which is this like kind of almost floor length um, kind of blue dress with this green stripe across. I actually really like this. I really like the fit, um, the cut of the dress. I think it's really nice. And she's wearing, um, we don't have a picture of them because they kept like most of the episode Blanca stolen their shoes. But she was wearing a pair of um, like high uh, uh, brown boots. And I actually thought it went really well together. I really like this outfit. It's it's quite simple, but I, I still like it. This one here, I love the top. I just wish the trousers had been white instead of pink. Like, I really like the top. And I love her hair in this episode. I love that she's got, like, she's she's done it like this. Like, pulled round at the sides. Um, but I, I don't, I wish the trousers were white. I actually, I kind of wish, what I would love is if this top was black and white, so this was black and these were white and then the trousers were white. I would love that. I would much prefer the outfit if it was like that. Um, And then, I don't know, maybe like a black belt or like a deep purple belt, but I don't hate this outfit. I just, I prefer, I would prefer if it was slightly different, but I do like the top and I love her hair. This outfit here is from uh, K is for Knowledge. I like her black blouse. I had a black blouse just like this, so I, I relate and I love her. I love her brown satchel bag. She wears that a lot. I like her brown satchel bag and she's wearing a blue top underneath. But again, I don't know why the pink trousers. Like the black and the pink go well together. I just don't know why. Why pink trousers, Corny? Why? Why? <laughs> Stop wearing pink trousers. Um, but also I like her hair clips that she's got here and she's got them here as well her little hair I wish they did more with Cornelia's hair because she's got such beautiful hair but most of the time she's just wearing it down and I'm like give her some hairstyles like she only really kind of in later season 2 did they properly start to give her nice hairstyles and I'm like do something nice with my girl's hair like it's gorgeous style it <laughs> but they never did this here is quite possibly my favourite outfit she's ever worn. I love this outfit from Always for Obedience. Uh, I love I love the top the, the the with the kind of poncho bit that comes across and the buckles. I love the brown skirt. I love the bell. I love the boots. I love the whole thing. She looks so pretty. And it's one of the episodes where they made her hair a much softer yellow. Because like sometimes her hair is like this like really bright ass yellow and then other episodes it's this kind of paler creamy yellow and I prefer when they animate her like this and she just looks really nice in this episode and I love this outfit. It's so pretty. I probably would never wear it myself but it looks really good on her. I love it. I missed over this one um, and M is for Mercy. She's wearing a white tank top which is like boring. And where's her trousers? I do have a picture somewhere of the trousers that she's wearing. Give me a second. Ah, they're pink again. They're pink three quarter lengths with a kind of burgundy belt and a pair of black dolly shoes. Uh, like I don't hate it. It's cute. But again, I just, why with the pink trousers? Girl, stop wearing them. But the, like a white tank top, you couldn't really get any more boring than this. It's like no effort at all on this one. <laughs> 
This outfit right here, I was actually surprised because, like I say, she doesn't wear a huge amount of purple. But this is really cute on her. I love the I love the shade of purple that she's wearing on both the trousers and the top, and I just really like it. It looks really comfy, it's, but yet yeah, really stylish at the same time. It looks like it's got a funky belt, although you can't really see it. I really like this outfit. It's a shame we only got to see it very briefly because I actually think this one's really nice. This here is her Parisian outfit, which is, um, I don't know. I don't know. This is the only time in the series we ever see her wear glasses. And I have no idea if they're meant to be sunglasses or if she's just wearing them for, like, um, like, style, but they're not, like, they don't have any pains in them but it looks like there's a reflection so there must be so does cornelia wear glasses but she always has contacts in or are these sunglasses but they didn't animate the color on the on the the lenses i don't know i really don't many questions many questions i hate berets no offense to france but i absolutely hate berets i just don't think they are stylish i just really don't like them so i hate this the dress I kind of like, but I hate the big pink bow. I hate the big pink bow, but the dress itself I think is quite pretty. But I hate the big pink bow, but I like the pink bracelets. Um, Look at her slidey phone. Look at her slidey phone. Wow, I had a phone like that in 2006. I had a Samsung D500. It was my precious baby. It has an aerial. Her phone has an aerial. Look, you can see it. God, when was the last time phones had aerials? That's hilarious. This show is so funny sometimes. Like, it's so unintentionally dated, it's hilarious. Uh, the, the Arc de Triomphe in the background. Just so you know, just in case you didn't know that she was in Paris, she's in Paris. She's so in love that she might stop breathing. Drew a map in her bedroom ceiling. Yeah, I have conflicting feelings. Also, they accidentally drew her eyebrows black, which makes her face look really weird because her eyebrows are obviously blonde. But they accidentally dyed her eyebrows in this episode. This outfit here I'm really conflicted on because I don't know what's going on with this. Like this kind of spiky fringe. I really don't know how I feel about that. Um, but I, I like the big puffy sleeves. I don't love the bow. But I, I don't, it's just this part I don't really get. But the skirt is quite nice and she wears these boots a lot. And I really like them. I really like the brown boots. I love a pair of brown boots. I have quite a few pairs of like kind of thigh, um, not thigh high, like calf, like go up kind of high on your calf. Um, brown boots, like suede boots, uh, some PVC ones. Um, I like I like cowboy boots. Any kind of high brown boot. So I love them. And I do like the skirt. I like the design, the ruffle here. It's just this bit here on the top that I just don't really get and I'm not, it just, it looks like it's been chewed, you know, it's, it looks like it got caught in a shredder and I don't really like the bow. But overall I quite like this outfit and I like her hair clips. Ah, this is her, um, this is her, where is it? Picture day outfit. Where's picture day? Where is picture day? So this is picture day and she's wearing a pink halter neck, a chunky bracelet some earrings, a pair of blue jeans, brown shoes, and of course her belly's on show because it always is. I don't love this. I think it's quite boring. Like it's definitely not as impressive as um as either Tarani or Irma's picture day outfit. Um I do like the jeans though. Admittedly I do like the jeans, but the top is pink. <laughs> I hate why do they keep dressing curly in pink? And so I obviously much prefer this one from Eyes for Illusion because it's blue and I think it suits her far better than the pink. I think this is much cuter. She's got the black trousers rather than the blue and she's got big hoop earrings on. I think this looks really good on her. I like this. I much prefer this version of the outfit to this version of the outfit. Absolutely. Up here we have um, another one of her, I think, night dresses. It seems to be like another night dress but in pink, but we only get to see it from this angle when she's on the phone and H is for hunted. It's very small. But um, yeah, she seems to have like a pink kind of floor length night dress, which is quite pretty. Going down here, we have this outfit that I want to burn in the fiery pits of hell. I hate this so much. This is absolutely my most hated outfit Cornelia has ever worn. I think it's so ugly. I don't know what she was doing. The skirt is so dark and then the brown belt. The top is quite pretty, but it doesn't go with either the skirt or the headband. And the headband is just so terrible. 
I, I was wrong. There is another time other than this that she wore a hairband, except she wore this one, the ones that come across your face, which is what I used to wear when I was younger, but I just hate it. It looks as if, it reminds me of like, what is it? It's like one of the sports. It's like karate. Is it karate? One of the one of the martial arts where you like put the band around your head. It looks like that. And it doesn't, the colour doesn't match with the skirt and the top. And I just hate it. And I think the skirt is too dark. I don't really like the colour of it. I think the navy is like just too dark a colour. It doesn't really work. The top in itself is like fine. It's all right. Um, but I just, I hate this outfit as a whole. And th this thing, I just cannot go over. I can't get over this headband. It just, like, I can't, I can barely see the rest of the outfit because my eyes are just pulled to the ugly headband. <laughs> this is her outfit from the key, recolored. And part of me feels like I shouldn't like it. But the thing is that I own, like, this exact fleece. I own a brown fleece that is the absolute double of this. And so I can't really hate it because I'm like, you can't really sit here in good conscience and say this is not a good outfit when you own this outfit. So I still, I, I, I think the grey skirt looks a lot better in this outfit than it does in her one from the key. Um, I just think it like this, like this is such a bad colour scheme here, but it definitely works a lot better in the kind of orange top. I actually think this looks fine. It's very autumnal. It's very Christian girl autumn. I, I, I'm not against this. I actually think it's fine. This outfit I've always liked. Um, again, it's purple. She looks good in purple. Uh, I like the design of the top, the way that it's like got kind of the, the v-neck and then the, the line down the front, but it's got the big kind of puffy sleeves with the pattern around the edge and then the floor length cream skirt. I actually really like this outfit. I think it's nice. Um, again, I think I would like it more maybe if it was like black and white, like if this bit was black and these were white. I think she looks really good in monochrome. Like, we realised in this episode that she looks really good in, like, black and white. And I would have liked to see her in more black and white. But I do like it. I like it for what it is. Her guardian outfit, I've always really liked. I do kind of wish, honestly, that they'd kept... In the comics, her 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 top is cut across here. Which it is in the show. And her, um, her Quinto guardian outfit, it's cut like this. So in the comics, it's cut like this. It's cut across the shoulders. But I think for like modesty reasons in the show, they decided to cut it like a regular top here. I would have preferred if they'd kept the cut across the way, um, but they didn't. But I do like, I like the bit on the sleeves and how it like sticks to her hand, like here. I've always liked that. And obviously her skirt is gorgeous. Her big floor length skirt with the big swirl in the front. I love that. And I really like her boots. She gets heels. Um, which feels like it would be uncomfortable for your feet, but maybe when you're a guardian and you're in guardian form, maybe it gives you stronger Achilles tendons. I don't know. But I really like the thought, the, the knee high almost boots. Uh, I, I love Cornelia's guardian outfit. I think it's really nice. The only part is that I wish they kept the, the across the shoulder cut for the top. This here is the outfit she wears to um, Helen's art exhibition. And I really like this one. I love the crossover neck here i love the color the the deep red and the deep purple and it's got like a big band around here she's got her little shoes on and i love that she's got her hair in this low pony it's the only time in the entire series we see her in a ponytail um i would have i would love i always wish we could have seen her in a proper ponytail because she wears one at the end of arc two in the comics uh she has a ponytail and it just looks so cute on her and we never got to see her in a ponytail in the show but this is the one time we do it with this very low pony and I think it's cute. But I really like the dress. I think the dress is really pretty. This outfit here is from the infamous V is for Victory, the episode where um the animators had lost their fashion sense. But I actually like this. It is very 70s and that's probably why. Like the orange, the flares, the hat, the whole thing is giving 70s. And I said before, I do love 70s fashion and 70s furniture and 70s art design and wallpaper. I'm very much a child of the 70s despite being born in the 90s so I actually really like this outfit. I think this is one of her better outfits and that's probably an unpopular opinion but I like it and also she should have worn hats more. I wish this is such like when I was a kid I always associated hats like this with Mary-Kate and Ashley and I don't even know what you call this kind of hat. In my head it's still like a Mary-Kate and Ashley hat 
and I bought, got one because I really wanted to like be cool and wear hats and then it just I tried it on and it didn't suit me and I still own the hat but I never wear it because it still to this day does not suit me I don't suit that kind of hat at all and they just fall off my head so this here is from Exes for Xanadu and I love her hair in this episode I love the pleats it's so cute and I love the brown skirt, but I'm not really crash hot on the top. I think the pink is just too garish. It's too bright. It's too in your face. And I'm just not a big fan of it, personally. I'm not really into this one. She's still got her satchel bag on. But I love the skirt and I love her hair. This is so cute. I, I This is what I mean. They should have done more with her hair. But um, I don't really like the colour of the top, personally. This here is her, um, from W's for Wit. And this is another variation of her outfit from the Labyrinth. So she has three different variations of this one outfit. So this is the first one, which is from the Labyrinth. And we see her here and she's in her red jumper. And I've always described this as her jockey outfit because I think it makes her look like a, ra a horse race jockey. Um, and I hate it. I really don't like it. I don't like this at all. I don't think the red and the like, the very pale kind of cyan blue, don't. I don't think they go together. I don't like the jumper, which is why I don't really care that it then had to get used to be the thread around the labyrinth. So it it, it got destroyed. And I'm like, you know, that's maybe for the best, Cornelia. It doesn't look quite as bad when she's not got the jumper on, but she just looks like a race jockey with the, with the, the big kind of welly boot type things. Like, I don't like it, but she has three different versions of this. So she has another version from W is for Witch, which is this one, where the top is blue, which isn't quite as bad. But it's still the same outfit. You can see it still has the line on the legs, the stripe. So it's the same outfit. Um, yeah, I don't mind the colour in this quite as much because at least it, it's more her shade than the red. Uh, obviously, in W Spurch, I absolutely love the pink streak. We should have left her with that for the rest of the season because it just, it looks so cute. Um, and it's just so funny. Like, there was no need for them to do this. You know what I mean? Like, there was no reason for them to dye her hair pink for this episode. Um, they just did. And... <laughs> I love it. It's great. We should have had a running joke of Cornelia turning up with a different colour streak in her hair every week because Napoleon kept knocking nail polish into her hair. That should have been a thing. I Also, I wish we could have seen Caleb's reaction when he got to our front door and she opened it and she had a pink streak in her hair. He would have just been like, what have you done to your head? Um, she also has a third version, which is this green one from Why is for Yield, which again, I don't hate quite as much, but it still makes her look like a race jockey. Like this right here is equestrian chic. This is which equestria girls, this is the saddle club. Um, But yeah, I don't hate it quite as much. I like the color more, but I hate the one from the labyrinth. I hate it so much. Then of course we have the camel from Tears for Trauma Egypt exhibition, which is just hilarious. It's so funny. It needed to be there. It's it's great. It's icon status. Number one outfit of the whole series. This one right here is from the season two title sequence. Um, all of the other girls in the intro bit are wearing an outfit that they wear in the series proper, but Cornelia during her clip has got this outfit that we've never seen her in, so I had to include it. It's just a pink summer dress. Uh, it's got a little tie wrap around the middle. It's very cute. It's very sweet. It's... The, the shade looks nice in her, so it's cute. We included it. Um, over here we have another variation of her winter outfit. This is her winter outfit without the coat. So um, you can see that this is definitely a body warmer. It's not a jacket because you can see that these are the sleeves of this top and that is the turtleneck. So that is a body warmer. Um, and you can see her, her leg warmers. It's, like I say, said before, I do like her winter outfit. These are her outfits from service to the community. This is the outfit that she wears to work at the school. Uh, it's just like a green polo top, polo shirt, um, and a pair of white trousers. It's not really her colour, but I imagine it's probably the um, I imagine it's probably the uniform of the daycare or the preschool or kindergarten or whatever it is that she's working at. So it's not really her choice. And this is obviously her outfit from when she was working at the zoo. It's hideous. The green and uh, green, the orange and the blue are giving B and M. Um, it's it's just it the, uh, it's hideous. It's dungarees. It's terrible. I hate it. This here is her outfit from Will's birthday party, which I really like. She's wearing a black skirt and a blue top. Uh, a blue I really like the cut of the top the way that it's got like this kind of 
triangle bust at the front. She's got on a necklace and some uh, bracelet. And I just think she looks really cute. I really like this outfit. Um, and this is her wearing this outfit, but with a coat. She has a jacket that she wears when they go out. It's like a, either a kind of pale blue or a white, I'm not entirely sure, or maybe grey. Long coat with a belt attached to it. I own a couple of coats like this. It's very much my style, so I like this one. This here is her uh, one of her bedtime outfits. Uh, this one is from Service of the Community. She's got on her, her blue top with a love heart. And then a pair of kind of grey baggy trousers. Just a, a typical uh, bedtime attire. And I quite like it. Again, it's blue and she looks... I, I really like her in pale blue. So I like this one. Oh, I didn't notice. We actually... You can see the bottom of this coat here. I thought it was only this part. But no, actually, you can see the bottom of the coat down here. So it's like a very long coat. I really like that. Uh, this here is also her winter outfit without um, the body warmer. So that's another shot of that one where you can see it a bit better. This is her Quinto Guardian outfit, which is slightly different than her regular Guardian outfit. You can see that the skirt is a lot shorter. It's got a different cut, so it's more like Haylin's skirt as opposed to Cornelia's. And you can see that for her Quinto Guardian outfit, she got back the neckline across the um, shoulders, which she has in the comics. And I much prefer it. And honestly, I love her, her Quinto Guardian outfit. And I wish we had... I, I wish this had been her top for the entire series because I prefer it. And her hair is excessively long and I'm so jealous. As as a very, very long-haired girly, that is the dream. Um, but, I mean, I, I could grow my hair that long if I really wanted to, but it's not practical. It's practical when you can fly. It's not practical when you have to stand on it. Over here we have her um, outfit from D, uh, D, D is for Divide and Conquer, I was about to say. D is for Divide and Conquer. Um, which is her ski outfit. I don't like the colour. I don't like the excessive pink, um, the baby pink. I would have rather she just worn, like, her standard, like, winter outfit, this one. Um, but she didn't. She decided to wear this, and I don't like it. I, I, I like the big chunky scarf, but I don't like the colour of it. The green gloves don't go with the pink outfit, and the aggressively pink, um, ear warmers to go with it. I just, I don't like this one. I, mm, no, I'm not a fan. I don't really, I don't like that very pastel baby pink. It's never been a colour that I've been a fan of. This one here is like, is this is her outfit from Framed. And the whole point of this is that the girls were all getting dresses. And Haylin deliberately drew Cornelia like the ugly, like peasant dress to, to like be mean to her because like Cornelia wanted a really pretty dress. So Haylin drew the other three girls pretty dresses, but only gave Cornelia like a, a basic dress but I don't see it that way because I think this is really nice I really like this dress I think she looks super cute and I really like it honestly like yeah it's not as fancy as what the other girls got but I think it's really pretty maybe it's just because I love like everything medieval so this is just like really up my alley but I really like everything about it I love the sleeves I love this like tank top back here I love the big black skirt I think it's really pretty I think it looks really good on her I think she looks really pretty I love it this here I love this is her skating outfit and I love the color this is the exact color I think Cornelia should dress in all the time um the pale blue the hot pants the halter neck it matches she's got the the only thing is I wish she was wearing a different helmet because the red and yellow helmet doesn't really go I think she's wearing a helmet that matches these but the, her shin pads and everything and her skates all match and I love this outfit and like I say it's very rare that we ever get to see Cornelia wear something short like she doesn't really wear a lot of short skirts and she doesn't really wear a lot of shorts so this is one of the only times we get to see her in shorts and I think she looks really cute very summery very sporty I really like this outfit this is the outfit that she wears when she goes to Meridian to confront Elion and there's two slightly different versions because she does also have a hat. So I took this one so you can see her hat. Her like kind of medieval wench hat. Um, but she's like deliberately trying to blend in. So she's got this kind of uh, loose fitting medievally type top, a long flowing skirt and an apron because she's trying to look like she's a maid. So it's not as if she's wearing that for fashion. Like she's wearing that deliberately to fit in. So... Uh, we'll go up here for a minute. This is her outfit from Ambush at Taurus Felney when they're doing the play. She was playing the nymph Xinjing. So she's got this um, dress that's got the cut where the, the, the 
it tight fitting under the boobs, like round the high waist, and then so that it flows out from there, which is a style that I cannot pull off. I once tried a dress like that when I was going to be a bridesmaid in a wedding, and it was not flattering. That style of the style of fit does not. It makes me look pregnant. It makes me look like I'm wearing maternity wear. Doesn't suit me, but it suits her. And she's got. I love that the shawl. I love a shawl. I'm very much. I'm big into shawls. So I love that. And then she's got the gorgeous wings and her little flower crown. And she's got her hair curled. This is the only time in the entire series we ever see her curl her hair. You can see it's flicking and it's got waves. So she's curled it. And it's the only time we ever see her with curled hair, which is very nice. So I really like this one. Uh, down here we have her outfit from S is for Self, which is one of the rare times that we get to see her this. Like she does occasionally wear green. She wears a lot of green in the comics. But in the show, she doesn't. Like, in the comics, the very first issue, she's wearing that really long green skirt. In the comics, she wears a lot of green. But in the TV show, she actually doesn't. There's not all that much green. There's, like, there's here, here, but that doesn't really count. This hat. But not very much. But this, So this is one of the rare times in the show we actually get to see her wear green. And... It suits her. I love the blouse. I like the belt. I love the skirt. I really like the style of the skirt where it's like knee length but with the split at the side. And she's got her hair pulled back again, that style where she pulls it back like that. And she's got it clipped with like a like a pink kind of butterfly clip type thing. And I think it's really cute. I actually really like this outfit and I think she should wear green more. Um, She looks very professional, very business lady. She looks like she's going to work. And I really like it. Big fan. This I'm a big fan of. This coat right like it i still hate this top but i much prefer this outfit when she's wearing the green coat because i think i really like the green coat i think it offsets the pink really well this here and this one here is of course from return of the tracker when they're going to see the bmj movie and Cornelia has come in cosplay so um she has come as a princess and she looks stunning the blue looks gorgeous on her she's got the hat with the big veil attached to it she looks great i love this so much it's so pretty. She's got a necklace and of course she's turned up in this lovely fitted kind of blazer coat and I just I love everything about it. Also Corny as a cosplayer canon. We love that for her. Coming up to the end now we have um this as one of her winter outfits. Um you can see these are like her winter trousers with the the um the leg warmers. Uh but this is what she's wearing like this is a different top than the one that she wears with her winter outfit. So it's the same trousers, but it's a different top. And I don't really like it. I don't like the colours, the dark blue and the dark green. I don't think are very nice and I don't think they're very flattering on Cornelia. So I'm not a fan of this one, but, you know, whatever. This is from the final battle. And then we have this last one that I haven't talked about yet, which is from the title, second season title sequence. Um, which is, you can get, there's a couple of shots of it because I couldn't get a good picture. This is it here. So this is her outfit from L's for Loser Recolored. So it is this one here, Recolored. So you can see here that it is in pink with a kind of lilac trim and her satchel bag. And you can see over here that she's got white trousers which is what I said that I would have preferred if these were white. And you can see in this picture that they are in this outfit white. So I think I actually prefer this version of the L's for Loser outfit. I think it's really pretty. I like the colours. And I just think it suits her more than what she was actually wearing in that episode. So that's it. That's Cornelia's outfits. And I'd say my favourites are the um, black and white episode for facades. Obviously, um, always for obedience. This one here. Um, this obviously because it's iconic. Her rollerblade outfit, the framed outfit. Um, her season one secondary outfit. Her um happy birthday well outfit. And honestly, this one here from Peace for Protectors, I really like. And honestly, the V's for Victory outfit, I have to admit, I do really like. And actually, this one over here. Um, from G's for Garbage I really like and also this one and also this one uh, and also this one and um, th this one is also really nice and this one is also <laughs> I, just I do really like Cornelia's outfits I have to admit 
I do have a lot of outfits for Cornelia that I really like. And it's not my Cornelia bias. It's just that I think she's got really nice fashion. But there are also some that I hate, like this one right here and like this one right here and um this one uh, and this. Yeah, there's a few that I really hate, but there's a lot that I love. So that is that is Cornelia. This is what I have for Cornelia. So over here, we of course have her outfit from um issue 22 when she changes back into her human form in front of Caleb and this has been recreated in the show to create this outfit here uh, which is my favorite outfit that she's ever worn obviously they take the exact same jumper with the shawl and the long skirt with the belts but they change the colors so instead of being purple and kind of navy and green we get this kind of navy pale blue and brown which I I actually like a lot more I mean I love this that's very comic corny but this feels like it's more appropriate for tv show corny this feels more her kind of color scheme this horrendous outfit here turns out to also be a comic one but it's not quite as awful in the comic it's a lot more the colors are a lot more faded more pastel in the comic which looks a lot better but they turned it into this monstrosity in the show and I hate it but you can see, like, it's the same top. It's got the puffy arms. It's got the long skirt with the bell and the yellow, uh, yellow, the pink headband. But yeah, it looks awful in the show. I don't know why they did that. I was really surprised that this case for knowledge outfit is also from the comic. You can see here that it's the top with, I was making fun of it for having these, like, spiky bits at the bottom of the shirt. But that is how it's drawn in the comic. And then the long... A purple skirt with the kind of ruffles around the bottom and the long boots although they've given her brown boots in the show which makes kind of sense for her character that seems again more kind of her style and she's got a little jacket a little denim jacket in the show that in the comic that she doesn't have in the show but she does have in her hair clips you can see them up there so yeah this is definitely an outfit that comes directly from the comics over here we have her outfit from D is for Dangerous, which is also taken from the comics. As you can see, she has on the white blouse. She's wearing more of a kind of kind of rope tie in the comic, whereas in the show she's wearing like a straight up like tie, like a business tie, but that's bright pink. And a pair of these black kind of school shoes, kind of clumpy shoes. I don't really know how to describe them, but like shoes that you'd wear to the office. Uh, so that outfit also directly lifted from the comics. This one here is a bit more complicated. Um, so I've got four four pictures to kind of show you what we're doing here. So this is V is for Victory. And you can see that the hat and the um, jacket are taken from the comic. The jacket's changed colour slightly. It's more beige in the show where it's brown in the comics. Um, but the hat, and it's clearly the same outfit. However, in the com. However, in the show, she's wearing trousers, whereas in the comic, she's wearing this uh, patterned skirt. But in another issue of the comic, we see her wearing these orange trousers with the same coat, but without the hat because she's got her hair tied up. So this seems to be an amalgamation of these two outfits where we've got the hat and the coat, the jacket from both. But then we've got the trousers from this outfit on here. So it's like this is this and then this is this and this is obviously the same as that it's an amalgamation of these two outfits to create this outfit um i really like this outfit and the and the show so i like it over here we have a, her outfit from uh h is for hunted which is very similar to the outfit she wears in e is for enemy but this is the one that's completely lifted from the comic because you can see that it's the same skirt where it's the blue skirt with the the belt with the hoops that's on this cover from uh the courage to choose so that's where that one came from and then also her um her chiffon nightgown that i forgot to include in her main outfits page is also lifted from the comics because you can see here it's the same picture it's also it makes me laugh because like obviously this picture she's got her arms up and in this one she's got her arms up this one here, she's sitting on a chair, and this one here, she's sitting on a swing. It's kind of funny how they've come out so similar. Um, but yeah, so this is also lifted straight from the comics. 